Vision therapy is an amazing service that can help teach your brain to use both eyes effectively. Whether you're trying to fix a lazy eye or strabismus or convergence insufficiency or a host of other brain and eye problems, vision therapy is awesome. The problem is it is so dang expensive. It can cost three to $5,000 for just one treatment for one person. And bad news is insurance companies don't usually cover it. So this video is gonna be all about helping you figure out how to get your insurance company to pay for vision therapy so you can get the awesome benefits that it provides. Now there are some vision therapy offices that will do this for you. When you go to your first appointment, they'll ask for your insurance information and they take care of all of this. But if you're watching this video, that probably doesn't include you. A lot of vision therapy offices are cash pay. And so if you want your insurance to cover it, you're going to have to do the back work. Now, the first step that you need to do is just get on the phone and call your insurance company. You want to ask them if vision therapy or orthoptics is covered. Sometimes it's called orthoptics. You want to find out if they do, how many visits do they cover? What are the you know, stipulations, what kind of referrals and notes and procedures need to take place in order for you to get it covered. Because every insurance company is just is going to have a different set of rules, even if they do cover vision therapy, that you have to jump through certain hoops or else they're going to deny it. They're going to look for any opportunity to deny it. So call in advance and get all that information first. The problem is when you call in, it's not just easy to get them to tell you whether or not they cover vision therapy. Actually, let's just call right now and I'm going to show you how to go through one of those conversations. Hello, you've reached the insurance company. Hello, I'm wondering if my plan covers vision therapy. This is actually a medical insurance company. You'll have to call your vision insurance company to get those questions answered. I totally understand. Vision therapy is actually covered under medical insurance though because it's a medical problem, not a vision problem. I've never heard of that before. How interesting. You can try looking under services covered by an ophthalmologist, under orthoptics or vision therapy. You might be able to find more information there. Let me check on that for you. Hmm, I don't see anything. Are you able to search under a specific diagnosis like convergence insufficiency or amblyopia, strabismus, or accommodative dysfunction? Let's see what I can dig up. Well, I don't see anything here, but I'll get you transferred over to our special circumstances department and they'll get you all lined up on filing an appeal. I know that's cheesy, but that is seriously the exact conversation I had with every insurance company that I called when I was doing research for this video and the article that I wrote up on my website. You have to explain your condition. You have to explain the diagnosis, what it is, and really kind of help them through this because it's not common. So the people on the other end of the phone don't actually know what you're talking about. So you have to give them some back information and be really friendly about it, and they will get you to the right department and the people who can help you. So that's step one. Step two is to get a referral. Almost every single insurance company has the same rule. If you wanna get something like vision therapy covered, you have to have a referral from a medical doctor. So this could be your primary care physician, and a lot of times it needs to come from there. If you already are going to an ophthalmologist, getting a referral from them would be ideal. So step two is just getting the referral. And the reason you need that is because before you start vision therapy, you should try to get prior authorization. And that just means that you're basically getting approval from your insurance company ahead of time saying, yes, we will cover this service. So most insurance companies, when you're on the phone with them, ask them what is the process for getting pre-approved for a certain service? And they'll give you, you know, it'll probably be, you know, some document that says you need to submit X, Y, and Z and submit it to this email address and then we'll review it. So part of that is definitely gonna be the referral from the doctor. It's going to include a plan of care and a letter of recommendation, not recommendation, a letter of necessity from your optometrist and basically what their plan is, what your problem is and how they're gonna fix it. So you submit this information to your insurance and then you cross your fingers and hope that they accept it. Some people get approved right away, which is awesome. 
especially with children, they are much more likely to get approved. But that doesn't mean that adults aren't covered. I hear of adults all the time that have insurance that even covers half of vision therapy or covers a certain number of visits. So don't give up hope. If you get rejected that first time, you can file an appeal and they're not going to tell you, you know, here's how to file an appeal. You're going to have to call back and say, I'd like to appeal. And what's the process? And now is when you can get really specific about your case. There are several things that you can include in this that will make them more likely to accept your appeal. So first, you're going to want some research about your specific diagnosis. And I have a document on my website, um, strabismasolutions.com, and I will link that in the description. But I have an article all about this. And there's um, an article that has all the different forms and research that you can submit as part of your appeals process. So that I'm not going to go through right now, but I'll link it in the description. So you're going to include current research on your diagnosis. You're going to get letters from any expert that you can find that can talk about your specific case and why you would benefit from therapy. You want to write a personal letter about why you're choosing to do this. This is like you make a case for yourself. Another thing that's really important is ask them to have it reviewed and, and have a peer review. A lot of times they're going to have an ophthalmologist review a case requesting vision therapy, which doesn't make sense because ophthalmologists aren't the ones that are actually performing the vision therapy. So a peer review would mean that there was an optometrist or FCOVD that was reviewing your case to see if vision therapy would be a good option or not. So ask for a peer review by an FCOVD, which is an optometrist that specializes in vision therapy. Now, if your insurance rejects it again, you can keep filing appeals. But for me, I just recognize that I have the worst case scenario of strabismus and the chances of fixing it are low for any method <laughs> that is used. So I decided to put all of my energy into just making the money to pay for it instead. For all the specific documents and research and co billing codes that you can ask your insurance company about, all of that is on my website at strabismussolutions.com slash insurance and you can hopefully get the answers that you're looking for there. Good luck, and if you have any tips that worked for you, put them down in the comments so we can all learn.